Hey, what is going on guys, I'm McGinley Customs here, and welcome to a new series in which I will be teaching you guys how to completely learn Zmodeler free. This will go through non-ELS, the basics of Zmodeler, so it will cover absolutely everything. Now, I have looked at the comments that you guys have been posting on my previous tutorials, from like a year ago, two years ago, and I will be a, a addressing all of them comments, fixing all of them issues that you guys are having, and I will be going for a completely new tutorial and teaching you how to do it. So, I've already made the layout of the videos that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I've already made a plan of what videos I'm going to be doing, so if you want to see that, you can join my Discord and see the announcements channel. However, I will be trying to upload every other day, so I will make the videos as many as I can, and I will schedule. Some examples of what we're going to be going through in this tutorial is, uh, for example, importing, merging, exporting, and export settings, texture browser, material browser, uh, breaking the glass, extras and collisions, and then we're going to go through non-ELS, such as creating lights as extras, dummy placement, rotating the mesh, all of that good stuff, and just teaching you how to make a non-ELS vehicle and use Zmodeler at the same time. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to tell you guys that my Discord is open to everyone and you can receive help from various different modelers there. We are now over a thousand members strong and I am extremely proud of the community that we have built up together. And yeah, if you need some help with your vehicles, you can always come into my Discord, go into the support channels and use them there. But one thing you do need to bear in mind when you join my Discord server is that you will not get a response straight away. So I would not recommend bugging people, adding people, and just constantly spamming for help. So without further ado guys, let's get into this video. So today's video is going to be on basically setting your Zmodeler up. Now I know this is going to be for beginners, you have to understand that. So this is going to be for beginners, so I know if there's people that are coming here to learn non-ELS in particular, you're going to have to wait maybe around 2-3 weeks until them videos come out. However, I'm coming from the bare basics, I'm going to build from the ground upwards, so I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to do it as if I'm a beginner as well, showing you guys how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is of course come to zmodeler.com. Now, this is the only place that you'll be able to get a legal version of Zmodeler. There are cracked versions out there which I do not recommend using, seeing as you cannot open updated files in, and I just recommend paying the $3 or $4.50 it is per month for such a great program. Yeah, you heard me right, guys. Uh, Zmodeler is not free. You do have to pay $4.50 a month, or I think it's $11 for three months, which is what I do personally. So to do an account, you go to zmodelerfree.com. The link is going to be in the description below. And up here, you, you come to account login. So when you're on account login, you just click register, and then you do the registration. Then you can log in to your Zmodeler account once you've registered. Once you log in, you will see various tabs on the left hand side here. If you do not see stuff like my licenses, buy license and past orders, that is completely normal. What you have to do is go to settings, put your email in here, and then once you've done that, click submit with your current password and they will send you a verification email. Once you've submitted it and you received the verification email and you've verified your account, refresh the page or re-log in and you will see these three tabs here. What you'd have to do from there is go to my computers. Now, this will be blurred out because I don't want you guys to see my platform numbers or anything like that. But basically, you will add your platform by clicking new platform up here, putting in your platform ID, which I don't have a platform ID to provide right now, but I'll show you where it is when we get in Zmodeler, and put in a platform password. Now, you won't have to do this until you've actually downloaded Zmodeler and seen what your platform ID is. You can buy licenses on the My License tab, you can view your licenses that you've purchased on the My Licenses tab. If you've just made your account, this will be completely blank. You may have a trial for your Zmodeler. That is one thing to bear in mind, guys. Once you activate your uh, your platform ID, you will get a 15-day free trial for that platform. You can buy licenses under the Buy License tab. Now, I think that took me a little while to actually figure out how to buy it, is that you actually have to scroll down these Terms of Conditions and click I Accept the Terms and Conditions, which would then bring up this little tab here where you can select where you're from, I always use any other so I can just pay from PayPal. I go to license period and I recommend three months if if you want to do if you are serious about doing this vehicle stuff. However, if you're not serious, I would recommend using the 15 day trial, seeing if you like what's the look of what you're doing, and then purchasing a one month trial. Finally, past orders, it just shows your past orders and you know whether things have been paid or they're pending or there's action needing to be taken. Okay guys, so once you've done that, we're gonna go back to the homepage of Z Modeler. 
Once you're on the homepage of Zmodeler, you can go to the right here and you can download it where it says download Zmodeler. Now you can download it depending on your operating system. I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to download a 64-bit operating system version. Okay guys, once it's downloaded, it will look like this. It will open up a WinRAR file. You will need WinRAR or 7-zip or any sort of unzipping program to access the Zmodeler files. And what you need to do is you'll need to go somewhere like your desktop or a work drive or anything like that. Make a file and just call it, let's say, Zmodeler for example. Now once you've made your file, you simply just drag and drop all, them, all these files into that main file. Once that is done, you will see this application here called Zmodeler 3. Make sure you don't open ZM Stone Guard because that isn't the program you need. So once you've opened up Zmodeler 3, some Windows PCs may say that your Windows has protected it. Just click run anyway, it is not a virus, I can tell you that for a fact. Upon opening it, you will receive this window here. You want to keep, you want to make sure that your hardware is the right uh, graphics card. For example, I have a 1066 gigabyte. Make sure it says hardware. I recommend keeping anti-aliasing on eight samples and leaving your caching on. Make sure these two are ticked, otherwise you will not be able to use the modeler on your computer. Once you've done that, do not click apply, otherwise it won't go forward. For some reason, the model is broken like that. Just click OK. So once you've clicked OK, it will bring up your Zmodeler. It will look exactly like this, and your platform ID will be right here. Now, I'm going to blur this out. I don't know. I'm not 100% if platform IDs can be used in any way that I don't know, but I'm going to blur it out for, any, for safety purposes anyway. Now, upon the opening Zmodeler, what I recommend you do is on this big at about tab here, go to account setup and type in your login details that you have just made an account on Zmodeler 3 for. Once you've done that, you want to find out your platform ID. I recommend writing it down so you can quickly go to Zmodeler. You can log into your account, go to my computers, click add new platform and under where it says platform ID, you want to write in the platform ID that was provided on your Zmodeler about tab. Once you've done that, you want to click your, you want to write in your platform ID password. I recommend writing the exact same account password that you do on your Zmodeler account and make sure that you have allowed this platform to log in and validate license ticked. Then you click submit. Once you have done that, you will see your, pla your platform listed here. Again, I have this all blurred out, but it will be here. You will see it on, under my platforms. Now, considering your account is new, it should, there should only be one there and that is your current platform. Once you've done that, you want to go to my licenses and you will see that it will say a trial for 15 days issued for and then your platform number or ID, sorry. What you want to do, you want to click on it. You want to click the little question mark where it says license key. Click OK. Tick the box, like, tick the box that says activate license for selected platform and issue license key and then click apply. Once you've done that, it will give you a warning box or a box saying we've done it. I haven't got the box up at the moment. And then once you've done that, just click OK. And then you should see that your trial moves to activated used licenses. Once you have done that, you want to click on it. And then you will see your license key. It should say underneath your time limit. What you want to do from there is you want to copy your license key. Make sure you copy it to your clipboard. Go to Zmodeler and then you want to hold shift. Now, once you've done that, it should valid, it should work. If it does not work, what you want to do is you want to click this little exclamation mark here, click OK, click validate, copy this to your clipboard, and then hold shift again on here. Now, you have to keep rinsing and repeating if it doesn't work. I've found that it, Zmodeler does not work this all the time. So just keep repeating the process, guys. And I don't know if I mentioned, sorry if I didn't mention, once you, click, once you copy it to a clipboard and go to Zmodeler, you hold left shift to paste it in. And if it doesn't work, you want to click validate, copy this, and then paste it in. If that doesn't work, you want to restart your Zmodeler and just keep re rinsing and repeating the process. Finally, one last thing I want to talk about in this video while you have your Zmodeler on your desktop or in a place where you remember it, you need to install this file called the GTA parts.xml. What this does is it essentially allows you to use extra 6 and I think extra 9 as an actual extra and not a steady burned extra. Now, this is important, especially if you're an ELS modeler, because you would learn that you would have a steady burn of extra 6 and extra 9 on. I don't know why it's like this, but the fix will be in the description below. So what you have to do is download the file I provided you. 
Okay, so once you have the GTA parts file that was in the description below, what you want to do is you want to open up your Zmodeler directory, you want to go to the install file, and you simply just want to drag and drop it there. That is as simple as that, that is all you have to do to fix that problem. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Join me next video where we will be learning how to create workspaces for your vehicles and just organization in general. And then there's going to be a bonus video the same day that as I release that, which is going to be on where you can find vehicle parts such as light bars, ram bars, bases and all of that stuff. So I'm McGinley Customs. I really hope that you've enjoyed this first video and I hope you are looking forward to what's coming in the future in this series. If you can think of anything that I can do to improve the series, guys, please, please, please let me know in the comments below. Show some support that I am doing a good job, which I'm probably not, to be honest. Show some support by hitting the like button below. Make sure you subscribe. And I'm McGinley Customs, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.